you're next. So let's dive right in. It's Bunny here. I'm going to welcome you with open arms to my sacred space of love and healing and tarot. All right, so this is going to be a general reading. It's not going to be a love reading. Um, I have been announcing this for all the signs. I put up a poll in my community tab where people could vote and everyone voted for general reads, not love reads at this time. So everyone's taking a break from, from romantic love. Um, I will continue to do the divine masculine and feminine energy updates for the twin souls. But as of right now, we are not doing love. So let's dive right in and see what is in store for Libra. Whenever you find this reading, it's for you. It's a timeless read. All right, so let's dive in, Libra. Um, what deck should we start out with? I'm going to use the same deck that I used for Virgos. All right, reading now for Libra. What is our beautiful air signs? Need to know right now, spirit. I'm going to say goodbye to Virgo's guides, the ones that watch me. And now I'm going to connect to Libra's guides and ancestors, um, Archangel Michael, to protect this space for us. And my guides and ancestors and star family, along with Libra's. Let's rock and roll. Thank you for allowing me to be the clearest channel for source messages. What does Libra need to know? Woo, right off the bat, we got the Hero Fans, Libra. Woo wee. Major Arcana status for Libra. Y'all cooking with gas, huh? Look at that. Knight of Wands. What else do we got? What in the actual hell is going on? You guys got some fast moving energy happening here. But what is it that's coming in so quickly? What is going on with Libra? Wow, it could possibly be love. We have the Queen of Cups. Hold on. <laughs> it could be love. It could be. Nine of Pentacles. This is crazy, Libra. Okay, you guys got the Hierophants, Knight of Wands, Eight of Wands, Queen of Cups, Nine of Pentacles. So, the Hierophant and the Knight of Wands. There's something recently that has happened that has you feeling like the belief systems you may have had in the past, I feel like with the Knight of Wands, you might be starting to tear some of them down. Like things that you wholeheartedly believed with your whole entire soul. Like they might be even like limited beliefs, right? Things, the story that you told yourself about yourself is completely shifting. So for example, if you always had this feeling like I'm not good enough, I can't do this because of this, I'm too old to do this, I'm not smart enough to do this, or I'm, I'm not creative or whatever, all of that stuff is being torn down right now, Libra. And it's very quickly bringing in a whole bunch of blessings for you. I feel like you're going through a huge transformation. Now, there's no card here like death card to show the transformation, but I can feel it. The Eight of Wands is about quick forward movements. And the card that came out right after that is the Queen of Cups. So the Queen of Cups is this energy of like this divine feminine, motherly, nurturing type, beautiful energy. Okay, so this could be a love offer from a, from um, a feminine who's ready 
to embark on this half of your journey with you, right? Take that how it resonates. That's what's coming out with the Queen of Cups and the Eight of Wands. So I feel like this energy, whatever it pertains to, um, it, it's going to even shock you because it's going to happen so quickly that you're going to feel like what? It's something that you're not even, it's like you're expecting it, but you're not expecting it. Okay. Not to unfold how it's going to. We also have the Nine of Pentacles, which is the money card. So something that you're, um, placing your creative energy into is creating some wealth for you. get two more cards in this deck for Libra, please. Seven of Swords. Ace of Wands. Okay, so this definitely possibly could be a new, new relationship. I love how I'm not reading for love and then love is coming out anyways for most of the signs. It's kind of irritating. <laughs> so we have Ace of Wands, which is the energy of a new relationship. It also could be communication or news of something, right? In regards to a relationship. It, all, it could be news in general of something, okay? We have the Seven of Swords. And if you look, this is like, this is kind of a sneaky, manipulative, ratty type energy. I don't like it. So I just want you to be mindful of the fact that this feels very gossipy, Libra. Like be careful of people trying to take you down a peg purposely with like gossip and making you feel like you have to defend yourself in some way. Like, you might even get accused of doing something sneaky and you totally um, are not in this energy. Like, if someone accuses you of something, I would try to take the high road. Um, we have this wonderful news coming in with the Ace of Wands. And I feel like someone's going to try to purposely throw a wrench in the situation. But it's it has nothing to do with you. It's just because they're not... They're generally not a happy person. So they might even be a little bit jealous of you, Libra. So I feel like they're just going to try to create drama. And I want you to go ahead and take the high road and just understand that it's not about you, that it's about them. That they're not happy with themselves. This could even be an ex-spouse or something that is going to, you know create drama around this new relationship or news coming in like for example they might hear of you being in a relationship with someone and they might try to create drama surrounding it like oh you know I don't know that is just what it feels like like maybe they're going to be like well why are you seeing someone and and I don't, I'm not seeing anyone. And at the end of the day, it's just because they don't feel happy with their choices in life. That's what it is. It has nothing to do with you, Libra. So just take it how, it how it resonates. Let them deal with their own shit. And, you know, focus on the positive things happening in your life. Let them gossip and let them talk because... You know, you only give people something to talk about um, <laughs> when you're doing so well, right? Nobody's talking about people that are doing shitty shit, <laughs> right? All right, so what else do we have for Libra? Actually, you know what? Um, where is the... Let's pull a Power of Love card for you. And then we'll go back to the tarot, the dragon tarot, and see what's up. Okay, so that was just my standard, like, rider weight tarot. I'm going to pull some dragon tarot for you in a minute. But let's get a power of love card for Libra and see what's going on. Oops. Why is this deck not shoveling? 
so dumb. All right. Power of Love card for Libra, please. What does Libra need to know from this deck? What is the message for Libra, please? What do we got? <laughs> what do we got, universe? What do we got? We have ownership. <laughs> what? Oh my gosh. You acknowledge your misdeeds and accomplishments alike and learn to love them all as lessons. Wow, Libra, what a beautiful energy. So it's about owning up to everything that has happened in your life, the good, the bad, and showing them love because you realize that without all of the things that, you know, we, you know, we as a human collective see as our past mistakes, you realize there are no mistakes. You realize that everything that you have done leads you to the path that you are on right now. Every single step, whether someone judges it as bad or wrong, that doesn't matter because there's no real wrong or right. It's all about how we perceive these things that happen. And these, these steps that we have chosen are the steps that bring us exactly to the present moment. And that is such a beautiful energy because it allows you to see from a higher state of consciousness, Libra. And that is quite a beautiful, elevated um, lesson to unfold in your life, right? Oh, I love that. Wow. Impressive. <laughs> oh, my goodness. Okay. Let's see what else is um, coming up for you, Libra. You know, I feel like, of course, people are going to gossip about you because you're so incredible. I feel like it's so easy to be jealous of Libras because you guys are just so incredibly beautiful. Like, not just like physically, yes, physically as well, but also like emotionally, like soul. You guys just have, you guys have the most amazing, incredible souls. You know, I have three really amazing Libra friends and I swear to God they have the most beautiful souls in the world and it's just like being around them just makes me feel so loved and at home you know Ugh. shout out to all my beautiful Libra friends Scott Murphy the Fascinating Fairy, Nadine, and Cosmic Threader, Tim. Look at this. We have the Fool. Oh, Libra. I love it. What are we having planned for Libra? You guys are starting something new. We have Eight of Wands again, Libra. Again. So this is the energy of something new coming in. You embarking on a whole new journey that is going to be filled with so much fun and so much joy, right? The fool is like this childlike exuberance and innocence and a fresh start, which feels almost like going back to being a kid again. And the energy is moving very swiftly around you, Libra, in regards to this new endeavor. This feels very exciting, Libra. I'm getting excited for you. <laughs> seven of Wands. We have Seven of Wands. Oh, we had Seven of Swords last time. Okay, so this is Seven of Wands. Again, but this is this energy of feeling like when we get to the top, sometimes people don't like it. And they're going to try to ask you how dare you think you deserve this. And you do not owe them an explanation, Libra. You don't. You do deserve it. You deserve this success and everything that's coming in because you worked your butt off, beautiful Libra, right? So whenever you've reached a certain level of success, haters want to come and they want to knock you off your pedestal and they try to get you to, they want you to defend your position and they say, how can you think that you can experience this? You know, this type of love or this type of 
job or this type of success and you just smile and you say my vibration because that's exactly what it is alignment trust trusting the universe aligning with the universe loving unconditionally all of those beautiful things and you deserve this five of swords wow there's definitely a lot of conflict we have seven of wands and five of swords which is like the energy of extreme jealousy and conflict be very careful about protecting your energy libra there are those around you that do not want you to succeed, my loves. Tom to go fuck themselves. <laughs> the hermit. All right, let's get two more cards. See, the hermit shows me you've done the work, Libra. You've done the work. You have experienced so many beautiful lessons of enlightenment. The hermit is about going within. It's about searching for the answers to the questions that nobody likes to ask. The hard questions, doing the shadow work, carrying your light and your torch, even when you felt so alone. Oh my gosh, look at this, Libra. You've done the work and look at what you deserve. That's what makes people so jealous and so uptight look at that you have the two of cups this is love you have like a very strong soul connection it could possibly be a twin twin flame connection coming in and that's why because you've done the spiritual work right that's what the hermit's about but people don't like it they're not gonna like it it's gonna create a lot of jealousy because people are gonna say oh how come how come this person is experiencing this and I've, I'm, I've done the work and I've done this, but obviously they haven't done the work quite as well as they thought they have if they don't have what you have, right? And if they have, if they're in the mindset of jealousy and trying to create conflict in your life, they're definitely not there. They haven't done the work that they've needed to, right? Yeah. They're definitely not there. They haven't done the work. They haven't done the work they're supposed to if they're in that type of energy, right, Libra? All right, one more card. That's the new journey you're embarking on. I'm sorry, this reading wasn't supposed to be about love, but it is now. <laughs> oh, my God. Oh, I told you. Can't make it up. Look at that. The lovers. What the fuck? <sighs> oh, my God. I'm good at my job, you guys. I know what the fuck I'm talking about. Look at that. This definitely feels like a twin flame connection. Wow. Wow. If it's not that, I will be dead surprised. If it's not that and it's just a regular deep soul connection, either way, this this is this connection is gonna change your life. It feels very profound and deep. All right, let's go on to your career connection. Career connection. See, I didn't even I didn't even mean to say that. Thinking of career and connection came out. So you have a deep connection with this person. Let's do a career portion for Libra for those that work a nine to five and have like a matrix job where they work for someone else a nine to five blue collar job right let's do a career portion for them pull a card what do we got for libra for those nine to fathers ask for your needs to be met all right, let's pull one for our entrepreneurs or those that work for themselves. What do the Libras that work for themselves need to know? Donations, tithing, and charitable work. Okay, so for those who work for someone or who work a matrix job, we have ask for your needs to be met. And I hope I don't offend anyone if I say matrix job, but... 
that's technically what it is. God and the angels can come to your aid only if you make a free will choice to be helped. And it begins with asking. If it doesn't matter how you ask, or sorry, it doesn't matter how you ask God for help, but only that you do so. The same holds true with clearly asking other people to assist you. All right. So if there's something really big that you need, you know, you something really big that needs to be met, right? A, a need, your mortgage paid, um, I don't know, money to buy a PlayStation, whatever, pay off your credit card bills, send your daughter to college. I don't know. Ask, Libra, ask and you shall receive. Connect to the higher source of love, which is God, source, the universal energy, the universe. Connect to it all. Put your prayer out in the vortex and receive, okay? And also ask your friends for help, you know? Ask them for advice, whatever. All right, this is for those of you who work for themselves or the entrepreneur um, Libras. Donations, tithing, and charitable work. Give joyfully to the organizations and people who spiritually support and inspire you and know that your generosity will be returned to you many fold in miraculous ways. This is beautiful. The time, supplies, money, or other resources that you donate will ensure that your positive energy multiplies. This is incredible. I've literally been doing this lately and I'm, I'm telling you it works. You know, I, I give from the depths of my soul out of love, not out of like lack or anything like that. But just because, you know, for me personally, my love language is giving. And so I choose to give to those that I love at the most. And when I do that, miraculously, you know, I get so many beautiful things back. Now, it might not be monetization wise, but, you know, or monetary gain, but the gifts that I receive from my soul, I recently received two career readings, um, a mentorship, three month mentorship program, and two shadow readings, all for free recently due to me just giving out of the grace of my heart. And I'm so blessed. <laughs> And I just feel so much love and um, gratitude in my heart for those beautiful gifts, which seem to come at the most opportune time, right? It's incredible the love that you can feel once you decide to give out the love that you want to receive. It's a, such a beautiful conundrum. All right. Well, I hope that something in this reading resonated. My dear, beautiful Libras, I love you so much. Um, so some ways that you can help my channel is by sharing with all of your beautiful Libra friends, hitting the notification bell so you don't miss a video, um, liking the video, you know, hitting the thumbs up, <laughs> um, subscribing. Those are all free ways to help me, um, to get in the algorithm, right? Um, and also booking a reading with me if you want to support me. Uh, my prices are in the description box below my videos. I also have tip jars down there and an Etsy shop, which are other beautiful ways to support me. If you feel so guided to Libra, I love you so much.